stories that have inspired me um, recently has just been everybody being so incredible with the 2.6 challenges. Everyone's getting creative and thinking of various ways to raise as much money for our UK charities. Um, Captain Tom Moore, I mean, everybody was blown away by his story, um, what he achieved at the age of 99 and also how much money he raised for the NHS um, was literally mind blowing. So um, yeah, that inspired me hugely and I, I very much enjoyed following his journey. It's obviously got to be Captain, well now Colonel Tom Moore. Um, I think it's been the most incredible, uplifting story. Um, I love um, turning on the news and seeing um, what he's been up to, the amount of money he's raised for the NHS, um, him and his family it is incredible. Um, but also just listening to his words of, of positivity uh, about how um, we'll come through it, we'll come through the other side. Um, I think he's shown what it is to be British um, and that's been really uplifting. So he's been really inspiring me during the lockdown. Across the country, people are displaying teddy bears um, on their windows. Um, and seeing that like when you go on your walks um, and bringing how it's bringing the whole country and the neighborhood and villages towns people together during this current current situation that we're in little things like teddy bears and um, rainbows it's bringing the whole nation together and it's showing that we're not just there's not just in it on our own but everyone is in the same situation and we're all coping and we're all it's bringing bringing us all together and it makes that's what little things like this is what makes Britain so great. Something that has made me smile is when I'm out exercising once a day early in the morning normally and you see somebody else who's exercising across the road obviously keeping their distance it just shows the togetherness that everybody says morning to each other whether that's a wave or, or talking to each other I think the country has come together as one we're all following the guidelines and the rules and clapping for carers, especially once a week, is, um, has been very special. The one biggest thing that has made me smile during lockdown is to do with the NHS as well. And it's the delivery of my first ever niece, Isabel, who was brought into the world two weeks ago. Um, so thank you so much for that. And I look forward to meeting her when we finally get out of lockdown. At the end of the day, I'm writing down three things I'm grateful for. I think during this time it's very easy to get bogged down by all the things that we're unable to do and all the people that we're missing in our lives at the moment and yeah I just think by writing down three things that I'm grateful for it reminds me that there, there were some small wins throughout the day whether that's something as small as enjoying a cup of tea or having a nice bath at the end of the day I think it's just a great way to reflect and remind yourselves of the positive moments throughout the day. The thing that's inspired me most during this coronavirus period has definitely been the creativity and compassion of people um, to work with what they do have and not concern themselves with what they don't and do so, so much with it. Uh, to connect more deeply and sincerely than, than ever, to express themselves more and more fully um, and to respect each other and, and different generations in a way that is quite uh, outstanding and astounding. Um, it, it comes in all forms as physical limits and boundaries become ever, ever more tight. Um, you think it would lead to isolation, but there's a togetherness and a spirit for me uh, embodied by the work ethic of the NHS workers and the essential key workers, or whether it be um, the feats of people like Captain Tom Moore raising incredible funds, or even just the everyday activity of people in their neighborhood looking after one another and making sure we can all be at our best. Uh, and do everything we need to do to find our way through this. So thank you ever so much, you're amazing.